Hello, good morning. I'm feeling a little bit more autumnal today. Um, what's this white thing I've got on me? <gasps> I've got a price, I'm £13.95, bargain. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's uh, feeling a little bit more autumnal out there today. Um, I've got my nice cosy jumper on. Um, I prefer autumn winter fashion to summer fashion. I think there's just a little bit more kind of colour and pattern and texture, just more to it really than summer fashion. Um, random thought there, something to chew on for the day. So question of the day, what is your favourite season for fashion? Uh, anyway, right, enough of that. I'm not here to talk about fashion. I do interiors, not fashion, sustainable interiors in fact. And I'm here to help you with your own upcycling projects as much as selling the stuff that I do and taking commissions. So just wanted to go through some of the stock that I have in, um, some of the stock that's expected imminently, um, and what you can find when you pop on the website, which is www.tutco, up there, .co.uk, short for the Upcycle Trading Company. Um, or if you pop into the shop, we're open Thursday through to Monday. Uh, I'm working in the studio Tuesdays and Wednesdays, uh, catching up on commission work, other painting projects, stuff like that. So um, occasionally having a cheeky couple of hours in front of the telly, which I did yesterday. Um, find it, fi fix it, flog it, very good. Um, so yeah, just a couple of hours of nonsense doing nothing, which was very nice indeed. So um, yeah, back to the products. We have brushes now the paints that i sell are suited to synthetic bristle brushes this uh, eco easy brand is uh, very good and also very sustainable bamboo handle uh, the bristles are made from a uh, blended mixture of recycled synthetic material and recycled natural bristles um, so yeah if you're you know wanting to be a little bit more conscious about the sustainable um, aspect of the products you're using. These are very good. Um, we also have uh, the very much tried, tested and loved by furniture painters all round Klingon brushes. Um, these are again very good quality brush, synthetic bristle. We've got these shorter handle ones which um, certain projects if you've got to kind of reach into something like a bureau or anything with cubbies or little nooks and crannies these shorter handle brush brushes are um, really really good for that so we've got uh, a little one for small detail and the nice big uh, s50 which uh, is is good for bigger coverage um, and your standard uh, oval brush um, and the good thing about the uh, bristles on these are they are designed to just sit in water when you've finished and the paint just falls off. So super easy to keep clean. Uh, you will get a lovely brush stroke free finish with these if you're using um, an acrylic resin based paint, which is the sort that I sell here. Now those are the sort that are the really high quality, durable paints that are going to make your project last the test of time. Um, you haven't got to seal them with wax or varnish. Um, you can if you want to, if you want a, a different sheen to it. They tend to be very matte in finish, the ones that I stock here. So Cornish Milk Mineral Paint and Fleur Paint. Um, in the Fleur Paint range there is also an eggshell which has a slightly higher sheen which is a 20% sheen. Um, that is very good for things like um, kitchen cupboards, um, anything that's gonna come under a little bit more duress than um, a lot of furniture just sitting there minding its own business might do. So um, I'll talk a little bit actually about the eggshell. Um, this is an amazing colour, Greta. Um, we've got three new colours in this size. Um, all the others are in the bigger size 750ml pot. This is a 330ml. This will do a small project for you. Um, in fact, I have a lovely uh, little sideboard come drinks cabinet, I think I'm gonna turn it into, um, with slidey glass doors on the front. Um, nice little mid-century design, and I think it's got Greta eggshell written all over it. So looking forward to getting my hands on that one when I get the time. Um, this is 
the colour chart from the Fleur Paint range. Now, it's absolutely, um, well, I mean, look, look how many colours there are. There's just tons. It goes on and on and on. Um, I've got a really good selection of these here um, in the eggshell and also in the uh, spray paint, which is called Chalky Look. And that just describes the finish. It's a very matte finish. It's not a chalk paint. It um, has an acrylic resin ingredient, uh, which gives it that tough durability. Like with any of these paints, you've got to let them cure. So um, it's normally a minimum of a week for, for curing to take full effect. It does depend on conditions, um, if it's hotter or colder, that sort of thing. But if you've got any questions, just drop me a line, ask me about it. Um, but look at this lovely mustard colour. How amazing is that going to look in an autumnal scheme? Um, very, very much of the uh, season, I think, that colour. I love it. It's, um, it's very mid-century as well. Um, what else have we got? So that is the Fleur paint, just a little brief overview. Lots of lots of, of colours. to. Oh, and by the way, these are painted on linen. So you can use these on fabric. Um, we've also got the, uh, the paint markers. So these have been used on my lovely window. If you've seen that on my Instagram and Facebook posts, um, Amanda from Lord Shed, just up uh, the bale steps, uh, just off the old high street here. Um, very kindly did an amazing window for me and uh, she used a couple of, not these ones actually, but she used a, uh, what was it? Um, Cape Town Blue and Cherry Lips. Um, she used in the design and uh, it looks amazing. So all of the Fleur paints can be used on lots of different um, substrates. And uh, as we can see from the colour chart, this is painted on linen um, because it's not a chalk paint. Um, it's got that acrylic resin uh, ingredient to it. It doesn't crack or crumple. So you could paint um, the seat of a chair, a sofa. Look at that. No, no cracks. That is how hard wearing and durable this stuff is. So really good quality. And your project deserves it. So um, aside from that, preparation is always very important. And we have a relatively new product in, Sandy Hands. Now, this is like a tradesperson glove, um, so quite tough. We've also got a cotton glove, which is a little bit cheaper. This is 17 pound comes with a couple of um, spare sandpaper grits, which also sold separately. So these, they just Velcro onto the glove. Um, and you can probably guess how that works. So um, rather than using a solid rectangular sanding block on curved areas, you can actually follow the line more easily with the shape of your hand. So things like table legs, uh, spindles on the back of dining chairs, things like that, you can really be quite thorough with your prep and sanding with something like this. So that's a really handy new product. Uh, these actually, these trade person gloves come in three sizes, eight, nine, and 10. And the cotton gloves are just uh, a, a one size um, and they are described as women's cotton gloves. So they're quite small, um, quite small size. So um, these were a little bit more robust just depends uh, what you particularly prefer. So um, that's those. And Cornish Milk Mineral Paint. Uh, we have a colour chart here to show you the lovely colours that are available. Now, we've had a little bit of a delay on most recent delivery. Um, various um, things have conspired to keep the Cornish Milk Mineral Paint delivery away from our stockists at the moment. Um, you know, just uh, unfortunate events. And um, at the moment, we're just waiting to hear about the most recent delivery. The guys that um, uh, own Cornish Milk Mineral Paint um, have been super efficient at trying to do everything they possibly can to remedy difficult situations that are beyond their control. Um, and uh, they are waiting with our boxes all packed up, ready to go just um, trying to organise something with some couriers that um, 
yeah, the, the arrangements haven't been as straightforward as they should have been, but it looks like that's all coming together now. And uh, hopefully we should get our um, packs of Cornish Milk Mineral Paint delivered by the end of the week, um, if not early next week, fingers crossed. But I know there's a few of you waiting for your orders um but hopefully not for too much longer um but it is a beautiful product um very eco-friendly again um the biodegradable packaging um the uh low voc and the uh it's vegan um don't let the word milk in that for you it uh, just describes the finish that kind of plaster like finish that you get with milk paints um again it's a, an acrylic um base uh which means it, you know, is really tough wearing, durable and um, lovely matte finish. And uh, yeah, we also have uh, some preparation tools with the Cornish Milk range. We've got Bio Strip, which is great. And we'll cut through layers of varnish, gloss paint, wax, all of that stuff to get right down to get your project um, in a good place to, to start with proper prep. So um, this is made from all natural ingredients again, um, biodegradable packaging, and um, this bit's recyclable, the rest is biodegradable. Uh, put it on for half an hour, just brush it on, give it half an hour, then just get a um, scraper and yeah, just push all that gunk and wax and paint and everything off. Um, and it's really super easy um, and yeah if you need to put it on again another application but really this stuff is is pretty potent so you probably won't need that and uh, BioClean uh, you've probably seen a video that I did previously demonstrating this so um, main ingredient is olives so again super kind super natural um, not so kind to the olives but you know you you've got to compromise somewhere with these things. So um, yeah, this is really good. Um, I've used this on my most recent uh, commission project. Um, and it's, yeah, it just gets tons and tons of um, dirt and grease and stuff off really effectively. Um, so there we are. I think that is, yeah, that's about it with um, where we are with products at the moment. So imminently expecting a full order of all colours of the Cornish Milk Mineral Paint. Um, I still do have some of them here at the moment, but we are running a bit low. Fully stocked with the um, Fleur paints, um, eggshells, sprays, um, the uh, metallics as well. I didn't show you the metallics. We've got three metallics at the moment, got some more coming. Um, the paint markers and uh, also they do uh, primer. Uh, and three varnishes in the uh, matte satin and gloss so you've got everything you need oh and um, knobs we've got those as well so oh and stencils we've also got stencils lots of stencils um haven't got any to show you handy oh do you know what? i'm just gonna go and get some Right, okay, this I love, barbed wire. Um, I want to use that on something. I don't know what yet. I haven't seen the right project, but I really want that. That is gonna make an amazing design. Oh, well, actually, I just thought something I might use that on. Um, but I'm gonna keep it secret for now. Uh, bumblebee, everyone loves the bumblebees. Alphabet, so, you know, just put your own message on, your own artwork whatever um champagne a little bit of a french feel to that if you're doing something with that uh they've shown it here on a like a hessian or jute shopping bag which is quite cool so you know these can be used on all sorts of surfaces and finishes um so yeah the world is your lobster um i'm gonna leave it there have a great day everyone bye